We used to think we understood the moon, a lifeless gray rock, cold, dead, familiar. But what if we've been wrong this whole time? What if the moon is hiding secrets no one expected, secrets that could change how we understand the solar system, energy, and even the future of life beyond Earth? The United States may have planted a flag there first, but it's China that's quietly unraveling the moon's greatest mysteries. In the last few years, their space program has made discoveries so profound, most of the world still doesn't even realize what's happened. New minerals, ancient volcanoes, water where there shouldn't be any, and something else, something that might power the next century of civilization. This isn't just about science, it's about dominance, survival, and who writes the next chapter in human history. While the world was busy watching SpaceX rockets explode or NASA live streams of Mars rovers, another space race was already underway. But this time, it wasn't flashy. There were no countdowns, no dramatic music, no heroic speeches, just a steady stream of spacecraft, each one launched with cold precision and each one touching down where no one had dared before. The country behind it, China, they didn't talk about going to the moon, they just went. From 2007 to today, the Chang'e lunar missions have quietly mapped, landed, drilled, and even brought back samples. No astronauts, no crowds, just results. And those results, they weren't just impressive, they were game-changing. Because buried inside the gray soil of the moon were clues, clues that Earth's most powerful nations had missed for decades. Clues that said we never really understood the moon at all. When you look up at the moon, you're seeing the same face every night. That's not an illusion, it's physics. The moon is tidally locked to Earth, meaning only one side ever faces us. For centuries, that's all we knew the near side. But the far side, that was pure mystery, until 2019. That's when Chang'e 4 became the first spacecraft in human history to land on the far side of the moon. It touched down in the von Karman crater, deep inside the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the oldest and deepest impact sites in the entire solar system. No one had ever studied it up close. What China's lander found there was astonishing. The surface was made of material not seen anywhere else. Scientists believe it may have come from deep beneath the moon's crust, possibly even the mantle itself. And that changed everything. Because the far side of the moon isn't just darker, it's different. It's geologically distinct, which raises a disturbing possibility. What if the moon we thought we knew is actually two moons in one? We were taught that the moon died long ago, that it cooled off, went dormant, and became little more than a floating fossil. But the samples brought back by Chang'e 5 in 2020 shattered that belief. The mission didn't just land. It drilled into a previously unexplored region of lunar lava plains and returned with two kilograms of rock. When scientists analyzed those rocks, they were stunned. These volcanic samples were only two billion years old, a full billion years younger than any lunar rock brought back by the Apollo missions. That means volcanic activity on the moon lasted far longer than anyone expected. For years, we thought the moon was geologically dead. Now, we know it stayed alive long after Earth's dinosaurs walked the planet, but here's the twist. This isn't just about lava or craters, because inside those volcanic rocks was something else, something new, something that had never been seen before. It was tiny, almost microscopic, but this grain of lunar dust contained something the world had never seen, a brand new mineral. Scientists named it Changesite, why? In honor of the mission. But this wasn't just some obscure crystal. Inside it, they found helium-3, a rare isotope scientists have dreamed about for decades. Why? Because helium-3 is one of the most promising fuels for nuclear fusion, a form of clean energy that, if we can ever unlock it, could power the planet for thousands of years. The problem? Earth barely has any. But the moon has been bombarded with it by the solar wind for billions of years. And now we know for sure. It's locked inside lunar minerals. China didn't just find rocks. They found a potential energy revolution buried in the dust. And if they control the supply, they may control the future of global power. But there's more. Because as important as energy is, something even more essential was hiding just below the surface. In the harsh vacuum of the moon, the last thing anyone expected to find was water. 
For decades, it was assumed that the moon was bone dry. After all, there's no atmosphere, no clouds, and temperatures swing between boiling and freezing. But China's recent missions proved otherwise. Using advanced spectrometers aboard the Chang-5 lander, scientists detected unmistakable signs of water molecules embedded in the lunar soil. Not puddles, not ice sheets, but hydrated mineralstony particles that had absorbed water through interactions with solar wind hydrogen. This might sound small, but it's massive. Because where there's water, there's life support. There's rocket fuel. There's the possibility of a permanent moon base. NASA had hinted at this. India found evidence too. But China didn't just detect it. They measured it, mapped it, and began forming plans. Quietly, methodically, because they understand something the rest of the world is just now realizing. The first nation to control lunar water will control the gateway to deep space. Water, helium-3, rare minerals, geological secrets. China isn't just studying the moon, they're planning to use it, and fast. According to public documents from the China National Space Administration, their plan is as bold as it is silent. Build a fully functional lunar base by the mid-2030s, They've already partnered with Russia on the International Lunar Research Station, and early reports suggest it won't just be a place for science. It will be a launch pad for deeper space missions, a mining operation, and maybe even a fuel depot for Mars-bound spacecraft. And here's the part few are talking about. By controlling the far side of the moon, where communication is limited and surveillance is harder, China could operate with near total autonomy. In other words, a private space outpost that doesn't rely on international oversight. This is no longer science fiction. It's policy, it's infrastructure, and it's already in motion. But there's one discovery that hasn't made headlines. Not yet. While mapping potential base sites, China's lunar probes identified something strange. Massive underground tunnels formed by ancient volcanic activity. These so-called lava tubes are miles long and wide enough to fit skyscrapers. Shielded from radiation, temperature swings, and meteor impacts, they're ideal locations for human habitation. Scientists have speculated about these tubes for years, but now China may have confirmed their existence and even mapped several promising entrances. Why does this matter? Because instead of building fragile bases on the surface, China could establish entire underground colonies hidden from view, naturally protected, and strategically secure. That means the moon might not just be a waypoint. It could become a permanent settlement, and China might be the first to move in. On the surface, these missions seem like science, exploration, curiosity. But underneath it all is a strategy, one that goes far beyond lunar dust. Because whoever controls the moon controls more than prestige. They control the new economy of space, Fuel production, rare earth mining, satellite infrastructure, space to earth energy transmission, launch and refueling hubs for Mars, asteroids and beyond. And China is executing that plan with stunning precision. While the rest of the world debates budgets, China launches. While other countries hold press conferences, China returns with samples. They're not playing catch up anymore. They're building a space empire, one mission at a time. But here's the strangest part of all. Some of the data from these missions hasn't been made fully public. Certain findings, particularly those involving magnetic anomalies and subsurface radar, remain classified within CNSA reports. Independent researchers suspect the presence of unusual mass concentrations beneath the surface, sometimes referred to as mass gons. What causes them? Why are they clustered in specific impact zones? Some theories suggest massive metal deposits. Others hint at something even more mysterious ancient remnants from the moon's violent formation or something artificial. It sounds wild. It might be, but one thing is clear. China knows more about the moon right now than any other country on earth. And they're not sharing everything. The space race isn't coming. It's already here. But this time, it's not about planting flags. It's about securing resources, dominating orbits, and reshaping global power. And while the headlines talk about Mars and asteroids, China is quietly locking down the most strategic outpost in human history, the moon. The question now isn't if they'll succeed. 
it's who will stop them, if anyone still can. <laughs>